Got everything sweet by Charles Miles. How y'all doing? This is Everything Sweet with y'all. I know you can. I'm sure y'all know we back in the house again. And we may bring in another dessert. Today we are making strawberry shortcake. But I left something off. Strawberry and banana shortcake, okay? We're going to put that thing together. We're going to stack it up. And we're going to show you what you need to get that. Get it up off the ground. Get it up and running, okay? We have strawberries over here. Fresh strawberries. We got two containers, okay? We got one which sliced up one whole. Those ones going to be on top. We got strawberry reserve. We got strawberry reserve because it has strawberries in it, okay? We got one cup of powdered sugar. Now, we're going to put that in our whipped cream to make, make it uh, sweet. Now, we got two containers. Uh, heavy whipped cream. Now, y'all been in grocery store. You know you can't find what you're looking for, so you have to get what you can, okay? So, if you can get the 32 ounce instead of the 16 ounce, that'd be just great. We got that from Walmart. And we had to go to Kroger. Since Walmart didn't have a jail, we had to go to Kroger to get the jail. <laughs> so, you know, you're going to have to do some running around to get what you want. Uh, if you're still not going to have what you want, and you got to go three or four, maybe five, depending on how many you got in your neighborhood. Sometimes you might have to go out to the neighborhood. Okay. But while I was at the store, I noticed one thing. That use can. Lord, how much. I, listen. I'm talking about the use can was turning the corner. And I counted the cashier they had. They had three cashiers and one hollering, nobody in their line. So what is the thing about you scan that y'all want to go to you scan and want to work for free? I don't understand that. I'm telling them, if I got a pop, I'm finding me a cashier. I ain't going to you scan to scan my pop because I'm not going to pay for it and then have to work for it too. That, that's too much. I got to get off work. I got to go to the grocery store. Then I got to pay for it. Then I got to scan it. Then I got to bag it. And, and they're not giving me no 5 or 6% off because I'm going to use can. I just, I'm just not going to use can. But that's another story. We're going to leave that alone. Okay? All right. We're going to put our whipped cream in our bowl. We're going to start whipping it up. And while we're whipping the whipped cream, we're going to come back and prep our strawberries and banana. Don't go my way. Stay with us. Okay. This is our whipped cream. As you know, it's starting to peak. When it starts to peak, now, since we're going to mean, you know, it can whip all we need it to whip. So, we're going to cut it off now, okay? Oh, we got a whipped cream ready. We're going to start assembling now. We're going to put a little whipped cream on the bottom here. And it's supposed to make it stay in its place. We got three layers, yellow layer here, that we baked. Uh, you can, you know, find it on my channel to bake your layers, Okay. We're going to put the flat part down there. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take some of this strawberry reserve and we're going to put it on top like that. Yeah, you don't want much because uh, make sure you get strawberry reserve. See, so you got strawberries in there. That's what you want. Okay. Alright, once we got that down, we're gonna go around the side with these strawberries here. What you want, make sure everybody that get a slice, get some of everything that you offer in your cake. Can't have nobody talking about it. I got a piece of cake and I just got now strawberry. Okay, we're going we gonna to make sure we don't have that problem. So everybody get a piece of cake, we're going to have a strawberry, okay? Once we get the strawberries around there, we're going to take our bananas and put them right here in the center. Okay? Like always, making strawberry banana shortcake, okay? Yeah, everybody going to get some of everything. All right, got that done. I'm gonna put a light layer of whipped cream on that. Okay. 
next layer. We're going to use the flat side on top. We're going to put the top side down here. And you're going to put it on there and you're going to press it. Okay? You ain't trying to press through the tape, but you make sure it's straight where it is. Okay? Going back to the reserve. Man, I guess that just sounds like something good, right? Strawberry and bananas. <laughs> Man, you got strawberry reserve between your layers. But this thing will try to move on you. Get too much good stuff between the layers. It will try to move on you. Okay. Name. We're going again. Them sliced strawberries. Now we got uh, some cake that we crumble up that we're going to put on the side. We we'll put it in the oven about 10 minutes. They kind of dry them out just a little bit. We didn't want them with uh, crumbs on the side. So Anytime you're using crumb, go ahead and put them in the oven. And dry them out. Then you can come back and uh, put them on, on the side. Put some bananas in there. y'all enjoyed those fried pies that we made last video. Fried pies that were baked. You really need to try them if you hadn't tried them, baby. <laughs> that was something pretty good. And then, last video before that, we made peach and apple cobbler. Man, if you hadn't tried neither one of them, you need to make a point to go ahead. And try them things, okay? You you talking about some good eat. Okay. Now the last layer we're gonna put on here. Back side up. But we want a smooth working top. That's how you get your smooth working top, flat tie side up, okay? Now we're going to ice this all over. You know, some short, uh, strawberry shortcake, you know, they just ice the top, half the side, yeah, where you can see strawberry, where you already saw the strawberries and the banana, so you put them in there, so we don't have to leave that open. You know, I told you last time to ice up, first coat, kind of press it in, fill them gaps. This is normally called your crumb coat. Then you come back with your second coat. But the first coat, you kind of press it in as you ice to fill them gaps between your layers. All right, we're going to continue the ice here, and we'll be back. So don't go nowhere. Don't think we ain't coming back. When we tell you we're coming back, we're coming back. Okay, we got this ice. We got our bananas and our sliced strawberries in here. We're going to add some of the gel to that. Then we got a whole strawberries for the top, okay? These are the crumbs that we're going to put around the side. We're going to go ahead and do that now. Put some crumbs around the side.
Okay, I'm putting them on there. Okay, I'm taking that thumb, just raking them off the board, okay? They fall them back into the pan. I ain't trying to get them all. Just trying to get the little sets off. We got that. We got a little crumbs, that's fine. Now we got the crumbs around the side. Now we're gonna take a star tube. Got a star tube right here. And we're gonna put a board around the top. With the whipped cream. using a spatula, but I look like I need a spoon. But, we'll make it work. That's what baking is, baby, about making adjustments. Depends on the weather, condition. If you're trying to bake something in, you have to make adjustments. These big companies, they have control environment. They don't want to deal with, you know, the weather. That's why they have a control environment. But you in the home and me, we don't have control over nothing. Folks coming in through the door. We got to watch our light bill, our gas bill. Nobody in there, we're gonna turn it off. When you're in a control environment, it never goes off. They keep it on 24-7, 365 days a week. Cause it's controlled environment, so they don't have to deal with, you know, what we gonna do. It's cold. We're gonna have to adjust. No, we don't adjust, we do the same thing. Alright, we're gonna take our gel. We're gonna mix our strawberry and banana gnat. We're gonna take half of this. We'll take half of that gel. We're gonna mix that up and see what we got, okay? And y'all know them banana. As soon as you take them out of the shell, them things gonna start turning brown on you. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and coat them with some of this gel. So we're gonna have to deal with that turning brown crap. But we don't wanna have to deal with that. Now you know, you can't sit on the table like your regular pound cake. You know you got to put this in the fridge, right? So, when you make this, make room for the fridge. Alright, I like a pretty good coating on that meat. We're going to put them in the, in the center here. Then we got a whole strawberry. We're going to go around that son of a gun. Lord, this going to be something, baby. Okay, don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Alright, we've got our bananas and our strawberry with the gel on the inside. Now, we're going to put... The fresh strawberries on the side with that gel. All right, we're putting our strawberries on. Had the whole strawberry, we're gonna cut them in half. And we're just pressing them in towards the strawberry and bananas here. You put them in there. Just Press this way instead of that way. Working with whipped cream is not like working with buttercream. This stuff will melt on you, okay? So you gotta have got to have all your prep work already done. So when you go to put this on, you don't have to be tied down with prep work and your whipped cream melting on you. But if you do run into that crowd with whipped cream melting, just stop with doing and set it in the freezer. Not the freezer, the freezer. I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes until you whip cream form back up, okay? And we got little pieces of bananas that we done cut in little half here. I'll put them on there. Then we're going to douse it with a little whipped cream, okay? Now, this is totally off. You don't have to do this if you say, well, that's just too much. Okay, well, it's too much. Don't do it. Just put your strawberries on there and call it a day. I'm thinking about just putting the strawberries on there calling it a day, too. But since I got them red, I might as well go ahead and use them, okay? 
So, you know, when you're doing this, you always get options. You can do as much as you want to. You don't have to do the whole, the whole decorating process. But when you make this, it's going to be your cake. And when you say, okay, strawberries enough for me. I don't need to put no more. Okay, then that's fine. But since we're making banana strawberry shortcake, you know. Now, let me tell you something about these bananas. You know, these things will turn brown on you as quick as possible, okay? So this might be something you might want to leave off. If not, then you put these on there once uh, you get your... Uh, once you get your... Uh, Strawberries on here, and you want to put your bananas on here, you put them on here just before serving, okay? That way you don't have to deal with them turning brown. They're going to be inside of somebody. Yeah. By the time they turn brown. So, this banana thing, you only do it just before serving, okay? Like I said, now you, don't, you ain't got all day with this, baby. You got to work fast with whipped cream. Now, if I can find my other whipped cream, I got my other whipped cream. Just gonna put a little dab on top of the bananas. Just a little dab on top of the banana. That's all we doing. Okay, then we're going to take our crumbs, put a little crumb on top of that whipped cream. Baby, we, we, we done with this. Going to throw this in the freezer for a minute, let the thing form up a little, and we're going to come back and taste that. So stay with us, baby. We'll be right back. All right, baby. <laughs> we got everything done. Y'all know what time it is right now. Taste test time, baby. Look at that. Man. Got some of them strawberries on there. Strawberry and banana. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was... That one of them banana by itself. I can go ahead and eat that one. Hmm. Good. Nor can summertime, baby. And it's time for these summer dessert. Hmm. This is the summer dessert right here, baby. Hmm. You touch them strawberry. Got that banana on there too. Mmm. Man, this tastes so good. This would jar your ancestors in Africa, baby. Just take one bite of it. Your ancestors be coming out. What the world is that? Oh, that much. This. Try this strawberry shortcake with bananas in it. Strawberry, banana. Whipped cream, low and mercy, tried, delicious. If you hadn't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, baby. Go. We breaking out the summer desserts now. You know, you got winter dessert, you got summer dessert. You know, your heavy pies, basically winter dessert, apple pies, sweet potato pies, pumpkin pies, you know, corn pie. All of them considered as winter dessert. But you know, we're going to keep them around anyway, you know, people, you know, they won't come to come pass, we pay the pass, so you keep them in the case anyway. But you start making your similar pass, you know, chocolate, whipped cream, you know, key lime, you know, that type of stuff. Strawberry, banana, you know, shortbread. I'm talking about, this, these are similar dessert. You want something light, but you want something good. So we're going we're gonna to start working on the similar desserts, okay? Now, like I said now, you can subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe. 
and don't think you do. You got to get like, and then if you like it enough, then you share it. We we'll definitely appreciate it. Anytime Charles is in the kitchen, you get a notification that I'm in the kitchen, then you make an appointment to be in front of the TV, okay? Or your phone, whatever you're watching me on, make an appointment to get there. So we're going to be breaking out fantastic dessert, and we're going to start out summer dessert uh, series, okay? So stay with us. Until next week, baby, we'll be back now. Y'all know we do two videos a week now. You're getting two for the prize one. We release one on Tuesday, and we release the other on Friday. So stay tuned. That bell gonna be ringing two times a week. It gonna be uh knocking on your phone and say, "Come on, we in the kitchen, okay?" So we definitely appreciate what y'all doing for us, and we definitely appreciate you keep doing what you're doing. When you get the notification, we in the kitchen. Come on and join us. And time next week, baby, we out again.